Hey guys, good morning. I thought I would just go live this way for a few seconds before I click over to the switcher because I haven't done a face-to-face -face video in a little while. Because um, it's super hard when I have to go up onto the switcher to do the um, tabletop view, it makes it super hard to get the lighting right in the room. Um, so I thought today is April 18th and I'm going to show you, hey you, I'm going to show you my new Zoe workshop. So it's the Zoe workshop for the Bring Back the Pack. So this is a pack that they brought back from a few years ago. It was um, almost one of the first workshops I ever did was with the original pack. And so they have updated the paper pack and um, slightly changed the colors to be in the colors that we have today. And um, yeah, I could tell already these ones are gonna give me a headache today for some reason. It's been a long time since I've worn them and um, I could tell already, but uh, they are a necessity. So um, I am going to show you how the workshop turned out. So just so you know, um, the Zoe, Bring Back the Pack is available during April and May. And um, it's there's a couple of different um, choices you can make when you purchase it. So I'm gonna go through that first and show you the workshop. So, okay, <clears throat> here we go. Oh, my second light's not on. Hopefully that's better. There we go. Okay, so this is the selections of things that you can order for the Zoe Bring Back the Pack. So, um, and I'll show you what I did with it and what I picked. So there's a paper pack, there's coordinating cardstock, and then there are, uh, there's a stamp set. Or there's a bundle that you can do that um, encompasses a savings. So obviously the bundle is the best deal and that's $33.50 in Canada and it has all the supplies to make the workshop. Or you can order the components separately. If you wanna create the workshop, then really you just need the paper and the coordinating cardstock and you don't have to have the stamp set, but it's super cute, so you might wanna have it. So like I said, these are your options for ordering. There is also uh, an additional workshop that you can download when you um, throw Zoe into your cart. So um, make sure to do that, print it off, and then you have some more ideas for another um, set of pages later. So this is what I have done with Zoe. Um, so I'm just gonna walk you quickly through the supply list and then we'll look at the pages. So it created, um, I've created a mini workshop. So it is um, six 12 by 12 pages or three um, double page spreads. And the only supplies that you need are the paper pack, the coordinating cardstock. I used um, the white ribbon because I actually really like it for another texture in the workshop. And then I use the clear sparkles. The ribbon and the clear sparkles, you have leftovers, so you can use those on another project. And this is just, I just thought I would show you. The stamp set is super cute. There's lots of usable elements. So if you wanted to go with the bundle, it's um, a great deal. So I used actually on mine, the journaling lines, but there's like a little camera. There's a couple of fun um, titles the little, um, there's a couple little sayings like click, click, um, makes me happy. There's a great little shape here for stamping, the little file, fold, tab, divider thing. So then what I've done is I've taken the products that are contained in the bundle and that's what I worked with. So I'm loving the new sticker sheets that are included in the bundles. I'm thinking, 
this might be something going forward. I'm not really sure. We'll see in July. And, um, but so this is fun. It's a sticker sheet. So there's a whole pile of titles and um, there's some uh, great sayings that you could use on cards too. <clears throat> um, fun colors, everything coordinates, obviously. Then there is the cardstock pack. So it coordinates perfectly. And it's a smoothie and sweet leaf and mint. And, and I don't know if you noticed that my sweater matches mint perfectly today, like I did it on purpose. No, I'm just kidding. That's just a fluke. Um, then there's white daisy, canary, and uh, I think pewter. Oh, Heather, maybe, sorry. And then there is the, um, the decorative paper and these are all two-sided. And like I said, this is a little bit of a mini pack of paper. So there's just um, six sheets in it. So there's, uh, and these zip strips are so cute. The little date for the whole year, you could circle when something actually happened, the hound's tooth and the, it's on the back side this time, the sorbet dot. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you what I did with it. So here is layout number one. And I love these butterflies. I use lots of different levels of dimension. So I have thin foam tape and thick foam tape. I'm not really sure why I'm not focusing perfectly, but you'll get the idea. So this is layout number one, and that's on the canary. And here's layout number two. And I love the little um, sparkles that are on this one. I thought they kind of looked like little raindrops on the pages almost. So here's layout number two, lots of places for photos. There's journaling everywhere. So you make sure to tell the story. So that's number two. And then this is layout number three. So like I said, it's just a mini workshop. So there's just the three layouts. Um, but if you are interested in getting, oh, sorry. If you're interested in getting the files, you can stop by my blog and find out how to do that at chriscreativelife.blogspot.ca. Um, all the details for the workshop are posted on there already this morning. Um, if you need the supplies for the workshop, you can stop by my Close to My Heart shopping website at chrisrobertson.com close to my heart .ca. and I hope you guys have a great day and we're heading into Easter so everybody have a great long weekend and just remember even though today is Thursday it kind of is a Friday so talk to you later guys bye bye